東京ゲームショー2021オンラインをご覧の皆様こんばんはここからのお時間は505ゲームスの番組をお送りいたしますそれではどうぞ505ゲームズ新作555ゲームズニュータイトルショーケースさあということで皆さんこんばんは東京ゲームショー2021オンラインのお時間は今日のゲームズのお送りしてまいりますそしてゲストにはファイブオーファイブゲームズからご覧のご参加者がいらっしゃいますがいろいろ急遽スケジュールの都合でこちらも明るいメッセージをお送りしてしまっているわけですが一人でご覧の方を拍手して盛り上げてはいるんですけれどもお時間の時からビデオメッセージいただいておりますが Instead we received a video message from the three TGS 公式放送をご覧の皆さんこんにちは505ゲームジャパンジェネラルマネージャーの菅原ですマーケティングの滝ですプロデューサーの矢野です今日は505ゲームズの公式放送をご覧いただき本当にありがとうございます実は私たちも今日はスタジオに行き満々だったんですがどうしても都合が合わずにスタジオに行くことができませんいやー行けなくなっちゃいました残念ですはい本当に残念なんですなんですけれども今日は皆さんにお楽しみいただけるようにたくさん情報を持ってきました会場の平岩さんがバッチリ紹介してくださると思うのでそちらをご覧ください「ファイブ・オファイブ・ゲームズ」は AAA タイトルからインディーゲームまで幅広いタイトルを数多くパブリッシングしていますはい、えー、で我々「ファイブ・オファイブ」は今回 TGS 初参加なんですなので505ゲームズについて皆さんにもっとよく知ってもらうためにムービーを今回作成してまいりましたはいでは早速そちらをご覧くださいどうぞ We were born out of belief a belief that we can To innovate and elevate so that the dreamers can dream and the storytellers can weave their tales. The curious can discover, the creators can create, the players can play, and the perfectionists can perfect every last piece. A belief that amazing people can do amazing things, that the underdog can lead the pack. That the diamond in the rough can shine brightest, that heroes can rise. I believe that we are better together, and that together we can do so much more. So, to all those we believe in, thank you for believing in us. As we believe in the future. So, we received a video message and、uh, we also watched the anniversary trailer for 15 year commemorative. Video indie games to the triple A games. There are many titles that you are familiar with, I'm sure. So they are commemorating the 15th anniversary. Then, to, we also received some messages who are representing the. Hello,、industry. everyone. It's Courtney Hope or Jesse Faden from Control. Hi there, I'm Marco, co founder of Kuno Simulazioni and the creator of the Assetto Corsa franchise. Hi Five, 505 Games. 100A Uden, A Uden Chronic. So, t e d 100A Uden Rising, go to Kagate, Rabbit and Bear Stages, I feel Murama Yustawa. Konnichiwa, Kojima Production, Shinka Yoji. 
Hey guys, this is Tommy Earl Jenkins, a.k.a. Die Hardman from Death Stranding. Hello, this is Joseph Farris. It was quite a while I worked together with 505 on my first game, Brothers A Tale of Two Sons. And I remember it was a great time. Congrats on 15 years, and I hope you at least get 15 more years. Not more, 15 more. No, I'm kidding. I, I hope you get 100 more years. Take it easy. Congratulations on the behalf of everybody at Remedy. To 505 Games and all of the marvellous people who work there, happy 15th birthday from Infinity Plus 2 here in Australia. I just wanted to take a moment to wish each and every one of you at 505 Games a very happy 15 year anniversary. 505 Games Sam, 15 years, thank you. えー、ゴンワルゴさんが、えー、この度ですね15周年を迎えたということで、えー、誠におめでとうございます。Today, on behalf of our entire team in Italy, I would like to congrats with all the 505 teams and family for this great achievement. Staying alive and keeping growing for 15 years in this business is not quite easy, and we know it very well. Congratulations on your 15th anniversary. Uh, all the best wishes from One More Level team here in Poland. Happy 15th birthday. May we celebrate many more in the future. So, congrats for this great 15 years achievement. I want to take this time to wish everyone at 505 Games an amazing 15 year anniversary. You guys rock. Happy birthday, 505 Games. We received messages from gorgeous members. Because of the restrictions, they couldn't come to the venue, but、uh, we will still welcome a designer, producer, and a developer later on in the program. I have some information to share. This is 505 Games Japan Twitter follow campaign. If you follow the official Twitter and retweet it, and five people can win the Steam code, please scan the QR code on the screen and follow. The Twitter and please add hashtag TGS. Let's look at the lineup for today. We are going to have those titles coming Regent, Rescue Party, Life, Unturned, Growth, Song of Evertree. Those are the titles that we are going to talk about. We are going to also talk about AUDEN Chronicle and AUDEN Chronicle Rising. With some guests. This is a lineup for today. I'm sure you're interested in most of lots of the information that we are going to share. First headline news of 505 games. I received the information from them. First, This is Re Legend. This is the main character who lost his memory and encountered many difficulties, but they try to, he tries to collect、uh, clues of the memories. The communication with the villagers is also fun as part of the game, and this is a multiplayer that allows up to four people. To play together. This、uh, gameplay、uh, is available on Nintendo now. Hello, everyone at Tokyo Game Show. I'm DC from Magnus Game Studio, which is based in Malaysia. We are also the developer of Re Legend, a monster taming simulation RPG game. Re Legend is an action RPG game with anime inspired visuals. Since me and my brother, we've grown up playing a lot of Japanese games and watching a lot of Japanese anime. Some of our favorites are Digimon and Pokemon. I'm super excited to show more of Re Legend running on Nintendo Switch. Are you ready?
religion can be enjoyed in so many ways, such as the fast-paced action battle system, farming, where you can plant your favorite plants or fruits in different seasons, or monster raising, where you tame and raise the wild magnus to aid you in your adventure, or just simply fishing or mining, and so many more. What's more, you can play religion in a 4-player core multiplayer so you can bring your friends along to the adventure. I really really hope players in Japan are looking forward to join the journey to the land of Ethia. Religion will be coming to all platforms in November 2021. Are you ready? Arigato Gameplay for the edge for the first time to be released for Nintendo Switch and uh, comments from the developers. Next, I'm going to share the release information about the Re Legend. So this will be available on Steam, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and slated to be released in November 2021. So one month to go, and this can be played by up to four people at multiplayer game. Stay tuned. Let's look at the game trailer for the titles. Hello, I'm Nelson. I am the developer of the PC version of Unturned. Yeah, around 9 or 10, I started making games in Game Maker. And Unturned started because I wanted to play the DayZ mod with some of my friends, but most of us didn't own Arma 2 at the time. It feels weird letting others change it, but it has been a great learning experience. Unturned is a online multiplayer survival FPS in a world full of zombies, which is cliche, I know. It also has a strong focus on player versus player combat and base rating. 60 FPS, 4K, uh, new features and content, faster loading times, and much more development support going forward. Elver really feels different from the other maps. Uh, it has a much longer endgame to progress through with tougher zones and NPC trading to unlock, 
and uh, there are some pretty interesting quest lines in there. In summary, uh, the Unturned Elver DLC is releasing for console editions this October, and the next gen version is coming out this winter. We watched two trailers. Let's talk about the titles first. Rescue Party Live Firefighters, Volunteers, Guide Dogs You have a variety of teams and cooperate with them and to rescue people's lives in emergency This is a rescue adventure game This title becomes available in fall 2021 on Steam. It's joining Steam next fest starting at 26 o'clock on October 1st as well. Please check it. Next title is this, Unturned. You are surrounded by zombies and you have to survive. This is an open world survival sandbox game. You can already play this on PS4 and Xbox One overseas, but uh, we are going to release it with, with a platform of PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S in Japan in winter. Once upon a time, our lands teemed with creatures great and small. The beauty of the worlds was unrivaled. The people thrived and lived So next year, the girl son of the ever tree. This game has life management and adventure elements. It's a WordCraft sandbox game. So with every trees grow thick, area with a peaceful and a beautiful world, but mysteriously weathered. Ever heard to alchemist, you are a, an offspring and you're going to revibrate this world. And all that was cherished. So it looks like an RPG, but it's actually a sandbox game. So I really look forward to that. And we are going to have a gameplay footage that is going to be released for the first time. Anime made in Abyss and Star Wars Visions. Uh, Kevin Penkin are, were in charge of those uh, music, and we have an interview video of him. Please watch this. <laughs> 今回、グローオブザエヴェトリーというオサエのインディゲームの作曲家としてぜひこのインタビューよろしくお願い申し上げます I always saw myself as a composer because I had no skill in any other category of study. I actually started out by playing flute, but I eventually graduated to doing compositions, uh, at first in a more classical style, but when I started playing video games when I was 10, uh, I played a game called Metroid Prime from Nintendo, and I loved that game so much that I wanted to do music just like that game. And so that's how I started wanting to write music for video games. When I start writing for whether it be an anime or a game, I always start by trying to write musical ideas that physically depict the environment. So it could be the color palette, it could be the character design, but I always like to try and put the music in the DNA of the project. Obviously, anime and games are different because one is linear, one is interactive. However, that doesn't have any influence on the core musical creative idea. However, at some point, of course, those two paths start deviating, and so it can become very, very different. Well, my first contact with Prideful Sloth was through Cheryl Vance, and uh, she reached out uh, because she actually knew my music from Made in Abyss. 
I figured that because we both live in Australia, she would be more familiar with my music from a game called Florence, which was uh, an Australian video game that did very well here. However, turns out that she was also a big anime fan, so we got along straight away, and that's where she knew my music from. And so when she was showing me Grow, she had all these wonderful ideas for different parts of this world to have different characteristics, which is something I'm very, very, very passionate about from a musical perspective. And so our conversations started straight away in a very, very excited manner, and we were able to have a very, very, very healthy creative conversation about what we wanted the music of Grow to sound like. And I did do a little research uh, and I did want to see where they were coming from when it came to how Grow was progressing from Yonder. However, I didn't want to go too deep purely because I did want to treat this as a new game. I was also a new staff member, so I didn't want to kind of step on anyone's toes. I just wanted to kind of really do a, a, a new and honest thing for this game. Because Grow is quite a unique world with a lot of variety, there was a few different uh, ideas that really sort of became the, the core of Grow. Uh, one of them was to do with how instruments were selected and what instruments would be associated with different parts of the world and different biomes, etc. Um, also, just being able to maybe occasionally use some, some very specific and unique guest instruments such as soprano saxophone or kazoo or something like that uh, was a really fun sort of breath of fresh air when writing, you know, a, quite a large soundtrack actually. Thank you so much for listening to this interview. It was a great pleasure to be part of Grow Song of the Evertree as its composer. And it'll be out on uh, Steam, it'll be out on Switch, and it'll be out on PlayStation 4, among other things, uh, in the near future. So uh, thank you for your patience while we finish up this incredible game. And of course, stay safe, stay, stay healthy, and hopefully see you soon. Bye for now. Grow Song of the Evertree. So for the first time released, uh, we just watched the interview of uh, Kevin, and so that's the Grow Son of the Evertree will be out on PC Steam, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and it's slated to be released in on November 16, 2021. And on Steam page, with the more numbers you'll be added to your wish list, you will have a more discount. So please add this to your wish list and the get the newest, newest information on Grow Son of the Ever Tree. Next, we'll be on to GT Racing Simulation Game, Assetto Cosa Compsione, where 505 Games is a global publisher. So there's a footage. And on YouTube, with incredible driving technique and being viewed for 3.78 million times about a video by a 93 years old grandpa. Do you know about him? And this video triggered Assetto Corsa Compsione's development studio, uh, Kronos Simulazioni, and we have a deal, and they send DOC code and original gift to him. And but unfortunately, he died on August 19th, where we were supposed to have some message for him, uh, from him on this TGS. But we got some uh, message uh, video from his grandson. So please watch this.
He really seemed to be enjoying the driving. Um, I think he overcome a lot of challenges, including his age, and he enjoyed the game. And I think that's the beauty of games. And I'd like to send my condolences to him. So that's all for the headline news for 505 Games. Let's move on to the next segment. The latest information about uh, AUDEN Chronicle and AUDEN Chronicle Rising. Finally, we have some guests. I'd like to introduce one by one. First, Yoshitaka Murayama, who is the game designer and scenario writer, who is also the head of Rabbit Bear Studios. Studio for AU Den Chronicle, which uh, collected more funds than any other project for 2020 Kickstars game. Next, Junko Kawano, who designed the characters for both AU Den Chronicle and AU Den Chronicle Rising. They are also from Genko Suikoden and they work together. We also have Kunio Natsume. I'm a de development producer. Nice to meet you. Also, we have Toshiaki Kaname, AUDN Chronicle Development Team. I was alone for so long. You are working hard. I wanted you to join me earlier in the program. AUDEN Chronicle and AUDEN Chronicle Rising. What can we hear from you? We brought a video. Let's watch it together. We just watched a video. Yes. We're making an RPG title called Euden Chronicle. But Euden Chronicle Rising was what we watched. This is a spin off. This is an action RPG trailer. So. Euden Chronicle is RPG, but the Rising is. More towards action. Yes, it is action RPG, but this is a spin off of AUDEN Chronicle. So, those who play RPG 
can still enjoy rising and Suzuki-san, what do you think? If we, like, we always welcome your feedback so that the RPG users can still enjoy the game. I, uh, people are worried about it on YouTube, but you are working with Natsume uh, Atari. We started Eugene Chronicle as a Kickstarter. Usually, half a year before the launch, we announce it. However, this is a Kickstarter. In last year, we already announced it. So the launch was very far ahead. And in between, we have lots of time. We decided to do something about to fill in the gap. Blood stained in the companion game. And Igarsan was playing it, so I thought maybe I can copy the same concept. So that we can buy some time. And we try to find a company who can work with us. And uh, we spotted Natsume Atari. We always trusted them. If they can work with us, then that'll be great. That is the start of the collaboration. As we watched in the video, Aiden Chronicle Rising was done by Tadashi Satomi, who wrote a scenario for Persona by you be True Mind and Persona Innocent Sin and Eternal Punishment. We are old friends. We go out for a drink. Very casual relationship. We cannot do it these days, but we used to go out for a drink. We both like wine, and he brings good wine. And I drink it a lot. And he said it's kind of a waste that uh, when I drink it. Euden Chronicle is RPG, and it's an important title, so when you think about spin-off of that, I wanted to pick a partner who we can trust the most, and they accepted our offer. So you, you solidified your foundation for your development. Tadashi Satomi-san couldn't come to this venue. If you have anything related to the titles, I want to hear more about it. This is all round uh, continent. This is called the New Never Village, and it's at the frontier of the all round continent. And the Gaudia Empire and the association of small countries are fighting each other. And it's located on a volcanic belt. And uh, there's a cold area near it. And there's an earthquake a couple of months ago. And uh, because of the ancient ruins buried underground, there are many adventurers and merchants came to gain fortunes. And uh, it, all of a sudden, this small village became lively. So Lorenz and sorcery lenses are the key. And uh, everyone tries to find those uh, Rising is kind of an introduction to AU Den Chronicle. 
The setting of the sorcery lens of Lawrence is very important. And I talked to Satomi san about it. And maybe Western movie would be good, he said. So we didn't really agree to one idea at the beginning. Redemption, maybe we talked about. So those elements are all in the world. And what is the story? Story, ancient ruins and ruins are the keys. Main characters try to find、uh, ancient ruins, but they also try to find the people suffering financially、uh, from the restoration of the earthquake. So, they, even if they are against the excavation of the ancient ruins, they also try to cooperate. And there's a secret buried, and、uh, this secret is related to the destiny of one of the characters. And there's also conspiracy ongoing under the surface. So you see some tips of the linkage to AU Den Chronicle. Very exciting. Yes, the story is done by Satomi san. <laughs> and I was very pleased to see that. <laughs> yes, the story is very good. And key art is very nice too. Genre is different. This is action RPG. So, I wanted to show the fierce fighting on the drawing. Designs of the characters are quite attractive. Kangaroos are maybe a little too small. <laughs> Sorry about that. Mining. Pickle. Yes. This is climbing wax. A gear for mount climbing. So that's something you should look for. We want to also look at characters. For Rising, there are three main characters, and also we have guest characters from Ayuden Chronicle. JB, who's、uh, proud of exploring the ru ancient ruins, also Garu and Isha. Isha And we, we they are trying to find ancient ruins, and, but they become one team. Garu is speedy, Garu is powerful, and Isha is a wizard. And by switching those, among those three, you can make progress.、Uh, please look forward to the treasure that they are going to find in the end. I have a question for Kawano san. Any highlight of the characters? Garu is a middle aged man. Well, it was difficult to draw Garu. Why can't Garu? So I went to the zoo first. So you really went to see. Actually, I saw Warabi. So Kangaru. Garu looks like he has a bag on the belly. Next. Link to a Yuden Chronicle. There are seven guest characters from a Yuden Chronicle. Mado Renz is the key of the, this game's world. And there is conspiracy ongoing behind the scene, which links to a Yuden Chronicle. Anything else that you can share, as you mentioned? So, we wanted to show the characters that you're going to see 
on AU Den Chronicle, there are more than a hundred characters on it, but、uh, we are going to show seven of them with rising. People get together, and this is a spin off. So we change the characters a little bit, but still express them. So, we just want to show the idea that it's linked to AU Den Chronicle. They are also on AU Den Chronicle as well. Yes. So, the AU Den Chronicle Rising that is a packed of appealing points, and we have a gameplay footage from Natsume Atari at the development studio. So, this is the first time in the world. Please watch this video. So, this is act, an actual gameplay footage. Muli Murayama san, this is、uh, really beautiful, the graphics. Yeah, thank you. It's so called 2.5D. So, in the AUDEN Chronicle, it has dotted characters, it's 2D. It's very playable, and in addition to that, we also have the cutting edge graphic technologies fused. So that's the idea we had for the AU Den Chronicle, and we wanted to incorporate that in Rising as well to create the beautiful graphics. That's what we asked. Natsume san to do, which is now under development. And Suzuki san, Kawano san, what do you think? Any comments? What were the challenges in the development? Well, you know, on PC Steam and for P PlayStation 5, we really enjoy the production for the graphics, so we don't really think they were challengers, but Of course, it was hard, and we also try to make it、um, a lot of, with a lot of action elements so that people can enjoy. <laughs> well, thank you. thank you for working hard on the games. You know, the light texture is very detailed, the rocks, the light are really beautiful. Yeah, my request was make this game beautiful, you know. It's a very simple order. But it's not that easy to respond to that order, right? To make it happen, that requires a lot of work. Well, we want to enjoy the process. We also enjoy the process of designing. And we talk about the platform, the characters, you know, you. Have a lot of opportunities to shift to transit the characters. Yes, as action, that we think it's more enjoyable if you can change the characters. But for RPG fans, Rabbit Bear in our staff, among our staff,、uh, some staff say that maybe we can add some action elements to make it more fun. And so we asked Natsume san to make something that person will like as well. And we also participated as observers to oversee the production. So we had some requests for Natsume san for the production. Suzuki san, what do you think? Yeah, I played the game. It was quite difficult. But still, depending on. Characters, you can easily change the characters by hitting your console button. So, we did a lot of adjustments, so you can be reassured to play it. 
So even for RPG fans, you can, you don't need to hesitate to play this game. And look at this stage; it's really real. And in the graphics. We have incorporated a lot of action RPG elements. There is a character called Isha. So, so she's a leader of um, a, a town, and your mission is to revitalize that town, and as a result, your character will get stronger. And the character is going to collect um, items in a in a uh, mine. So that's some you know background, and that is also something we want to showcase here in this video. The effect is also very cool. It's so beautiful. I'm glad that you were impressed by the graphics. Yes, we really asked uh, Natsume-san to make great, uh, make, uh, great graphics. So that was uh, Ayuden Chronicle Rising and Ayuden Chronicle, and there are some announcements on it. So today we are going to update you the information on the release date of Ayuden Chronicle Rising and the Ayuden Chronicle. So Rising will be out on PC, P PS4 and 5, Xbox One and uh, XS. And you can also play it with Xbox Game Pass on the day of release. And then this is also new information. Rising will be available for Nintendo Switch as well. So that's been decided, and I think you can certainly enjoy that. It's going to be released at the same time. The release date is slated to be in spring 2022. So then we have another slide for the Ayuden Chronicle, and it's going to be available on multiple platforms, and it is now conducting a survey to see if this can also be released for Nintendo Switch, and the release date is expected to be in 2023. So, you know, since Kickstarter, we also promised to release this game for Nintendo Switch users. So that's what we want to realize. And now we are doing a survey and we haven't confirmed yet. So I cannot give you a commitment, but we will update information for you as soon as we have more clarity on this. So please stay tuned and we will have more announcements to come. Mulayama-san, over to you. There is a Japanese official account Twitter uh, for Ayuden Chronicle. Uh, we used to have a global official Twitter, but now uh, we open a Japanese one. So please follow this as well. Thank you. Yeah, please get latest information from this account. And moving on to the last section, I want to ask our guests what they thought about today's program. Well, Typhoon is approaching Japan, and uh, despite of that, I enjoyed the talks here, and we also watch a lot of videos, and we really want people to play Rising before they play Ayuden Chronicle. Yes, Rising is a spin-off, but it, of course, has the spirits of Ayuden Chronicle. It's packed with the same spirit, so we want really want our fans to enjoy. Yeah, please look forward to the game titles. And I want to thank our guests, as well as the guests from Natsume. Thank you very much. So let's... So that's the latest information for the Ayuden Chronicle and Ayuden Chronicle Rising. And we are now running out of time for this program and we're going to wrap, uh, wrap it up. So that was the showcase for the games and the information. And I hope to see you again somewhere else. Goodbye. 505 Games no bangumi wo okuritashimashita. Kono ato 19 jori, Square Enix no bangumi ga hajimarimasu. 
東京ゲームショウ2021オンライン引き続きお楽しみください。